Hey cuties, I'm Lanikia and you're watching what happened on the soaps. This is the Young and the Restless edition. All right, guys, let's just jump right into it. Today is Thursday, December the 22nd, 2022. On a scale of 1 to 10. Oh, <laughs> no, I'm going to have to give it like a, I'm going to give it a 7. I'm going to give it a 7. I'm going to give it a 7. Child, we start off with uh, Nick and Sally, and she's telling him about how she grew. I'm not gonna hold y'all long. She's telling him about how she grew up, um, you know, as a carny. Her parents they they weren't really good role models of what a parent should be. And so eventually, she went and lived with her aunt Sally, and it was so nice because she got to see a strong woman, and you know, and that's where she got that's where she became Sally. That's where she learned the design. She learned how to be independent. That's how she learned how to do it. And and because of that, you know, her childhood was so different that I don't know, you know, her to she's at a toss up about, you know, children and everything. And because she tells Nick, like, your children are so far in age, like one is an adult and then you have another one who's, you know, still asking questions about Santa and everything. And he said, are you judging? She said, no, I've just never seen somebody so happy to be a parent. Like he enjoys being a parent. And so that's when they got on the whole conversation. And um, they are still deciding that for their relationship, they want to take things slow. But this was just a, a um, th something for them just to talk about raising children and what could possibly happen between the two of them and then sally gonna say oh my stomach is so upset ah, no more coffee for me i say no nah, you can't i don't know if you should have coffee like that when you're pregnant because we all know sally is pregnant now whose baby this is i don't know is it nick is it adam i said well well what's gonna happen if sally is pregnant by adam and, and nick gonna be raising a baby with it if they put them together child it's gonna be a whole mess uh um uh, uh, this is going to be a repeat whole mess is what it is. And, you know, they're repeating storylines and stuff. But oh, child, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But anyways, that was it with them, y'all. Let's move on. So then we move on. I'm sorry about that. Oh, yeah. So um, I'll go to them last. So then we see uh, Daniel comes over. He's visiting with Kyle, Summer, and Harrison. They give Christmas presents, and you know, Kyle was like, "Oh, I haven't really got to catch up with you. Um, you, you know, must must the, the wedding invites must have missed you. Ain't nobody traveling." He said, "Listen, I was out of the um country too. I was out. I was doing my thing too. I couldn't always break away and um come and visit y'all." But no, that's not what he said. Anyways. He's just, they're just happy to all be around now. So then we see where they're all talking and, and Kyle goes upstairs with Harrison and, um, cause he's asking him, where are y'all about to go? Daniel's asking him, where are y'all about to go? And he, they say, oh, we're just going to do a little adventure for Harrison, but you could clearly tell they lying. So then Summer wants to know about the whole Lucy and Heather thing. I said, why should he tell you something and you're not telling him all the information? I don't like friends like that. Like they always want to know about you and what's going on with you and, and um for you to open up and then they don't open up no 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 i'm this isn't um a one-way street if i tell my business you're gonna have to tell yours too and we're just gonna have some information on each other jordan will you give her some water please and we're just gonna have to have some information on each other but anyways um kyle finally comes back down uh and so daniel ends up leaving so then they go and they visit dd right so they go and, vi and they see dd and you know at first she's not there but then she shows up and she says oh it was such a beautiful night in the snow and i just wanted to enjoy it so she went out but as soon as she saw them she came running back this is the best surprise having them there she's just grateful to, you know because it's been years since she was able to spend time with them she thanks summer for coming she knows she's uh, caught in the middle and i'm not gonna hold you long that was it with um young and the restless today you know what i gave this a seven but honestly it was probably a 5.56 i'm gonna be honest with you it wasn't that much to it um so th that's it with them they're just happy to get to spend this holiday together so then we go to Je now this was the part i wanted to see and they just showed a little clip of them jeremy and jack so jeremy and jack are talking right and he says let me find out you know where diane is, and you've sent me on this wild goose chase and jack says listen she's betrayed us both she came back saying she was a um changed person but it's just been lie after lie i said 
Now, I know Jack is faking this just to get Jeremy off the trail, but this is the truth. <laughs> like, you're speaking the truth, but you still give Diane the benefit of the doubt. And that's why I be telling y'all, this is Jack, right up Jack's alley. And I know, oh, I'm sorry, I can't remember your name. You were like, no, I like Phyllis with Diane. I mean, excuse me, Phyllis with Jack because she gives spice. And I say, I understand what you're saying, but he doesn't want that spice. That's why I said Phyllis should be with Jeremy. And I know y'all didn't bring Jeremy in just for this. But anyways, Jack finally tells Jeremy, just take my offer. He says, I'll give you a million dollars. Here's 500000 now. I'll give you the um, rest of it the day after Christmas. And just leave leave us alone because you already ran Diane out of town. And we feel the same way about her. So Jeremy says, all right, you drive a hard bargain. So I'll take the million dollars. I said a million dollars. Baby, what kind of money do Jack and them got? Because Victor Newman them was telling Ashley Locke 500 million. So I, I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying. Where is the money? <laughs> what is a million dollars? I, I, I mean, no, I, I'm being serious. What is a million dollars? When you could have uh, flipped that money, I don't know how many times. What's a million dollars? Especially if you if you're trying to get him out of your life like i was thinking they was going to at least offer him five and that's still on a little bit of the low side but he ain't offered him a million and jeremy said he gonna take it so then jack leaves or whatever and jeremy smirks i said what is this smirk about sir is that what you like and then jack kind of looks like hmm jack don't believe this man this man is not going anywhere <laughs> he gonna leave and then he gonna come back and said i did what you said i left and then i came back that's what i that's what i think but let's move on y'all baby i am really trying to make this um so then we go to daniel and you could tell he's having a hard time he's drinking out the mini bar i said go visit your mama and so then um he gets a knock at the door and it is daddy his his dad is there so then we go over here and we see billy and johnny come and visit just chelsea and connor and they give you know their present they exchange gifts and chelsea is really touched she was like thank you for getting me a gift and they're like uh can we go play and so they're like connor y'all didn't little cut like remember at the beginning of the summer little connor this young man has shot up and like he's grown we see him grow he's literally grown before our eyes this spring um this summer fall and winter i can't believe it but anyways so anyway adam comes in and he said you know good holiday vibes and they thought he was being sarcastic he was like no i'm being serious it felt like good vibes so we were supposed to go to dinner because adam billy was kind of like what are you doing here he said we we're going to dinner chelsea was like we're you know he's taking us to dinner um or whatever but you know the boys were playing so adam was like listen I can come back later. You know, the boys are enjoying themselves. I don't want to ruin that. But they said, no, 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 you can come. So the boys come out and Johnny says, can I go to dinner with them? Um, you know, because he wants to continue to play on the video game with um, Connor. This is Johnny talking to them. And Billy is like, are, you know, because Chelsea was like, no, we don't. And he was like, no, I really want to go. And so Billy, you know, what was he supposed to do? His son really wanted to go. That is going to be part of his family. So he was like, okay, I'll talk to Victoria. Now, when they all went to get their coats, Adam said, now I know my sister. And I don't think she's going to be happy with this. And Billy said, I'm going to smooth it out. <laughs> I said, all right then. But Chelsea thanks both men for being mature. And I said, exactly. This is what I've been talking about. Instead of y'all fighting each other, just being mature about it because y'all are going to be in each other's lives. So then we see Billy and uh, Victoria talk and she is ticked that Billy told Connor, I mean, Johnny, that he could stay up there. She said, he's up there with Chelsea and Connor. And he said, and Adam too. And she was like, what? And because uh, he said, listen, I get it. I can't stand Adam either. He said, but I got to be mature because at the end of the day, Adam and Chelsea are going to be a part of his life. And why not let him have an extended family that loves him? Uh, you know, and so they were like, OK, she was like, OK, I, Billy, you are the biological father. Nothing changes with you. But with me, things change because Chelsea is the biological mother. And, and he said, no, I don't look at it like that. Chelsea doesn't look at it like at it like that and neither does connor sorry y'all uh, mila opened one of her early christmas presents and it's a xylophone so they were like we don't look at it like that um he you'll always be his mom and chelsea is just an extended part of his family and she was like she's insecure and i was like thank you you finally admitted it you're insecure and that's okay 
Because I get it. I don't like Victoria, but y'all know I'm not biased on this. I can understand how she would be insecure about this, how it would make her feel a certain type of way. I get that. Okay, so then we move on and we see um, Adam, Connor, Johnny, and Chelsea, and they're all sitting down at the society, um, society, and they're eating, and they, they talk about cilantro, and, and um, Johnny, Chelsea, and Connor say, it tastes like soap, doesn't it? And so they all agree. They're just having a nice time. It looks like a nice family dinner and so then billy and chelsea come and they see i'm billy and chelsea billy and victoria come and they see this and they tell them come and sit down come and have dinner with us and so they sit down and they have dinner and it's they're, they're enjoying themselves and they say look it's starting to slow and so everybody is enjoying themselves and y'all that was the young and the restless today I, that that was it don't forget um to su like su su subscribe and um excuse me don't forget to like comment and subscribe to the channel and i will see you on friday for an, the last episode of the week for the young and the restless um what happened on the soaps young and the restless edition do not forget i will be going live this friday um seven eastern six central four in the west coast thank you so much for watching goodbye